Fuck yeah, you guys, what's up? I just went on a date and uh, we both did acid, so it's like we went on a thousand dates. It's kind of like we uh, started and ended an entire relationship in one night. I was like, whoa, is this how polyamory works? This guy had very long hair, which I'm sorry, you already knew that. It's not like he has a crew cut or a job. It's fine, I don't care. He wanted to go out with me because of what I looked like. He thought that I was a manic pixie dream girl. I was like, nah, man, just the regular kind of mental illness. I like to treat my mental illness like they treated hysteria in the 19th century with masturbation. <laughs> we didn't go out on a second date, no. Well, we were tripping balls for the first one, so, like, nobody came. <laughs> Way too confused for all that. And I do, man, I do acid. I don't like it. I don't think anybody likes it. I'm pretty sure the only reason we as a society started taking acid at concerts is because the beers at concert venues cost 17 fucking dollars. It's like, hello, welcome to the Ronald McDonald Superdome. You can have a Bud Light for $17 or spend $5 and miss the show. <laughs> need you any more acid? I don't need to think Incubus is a good band. <laughs> so I quit it and started doing cocaine like an adult. <laughs> Cocaine's fun. Coke is like the stepdad of drugs because it randomly shows up at kids' birthday parties <laughs> and takes up all your mom's time in the bathroom. <laughs> all right. Cool. So I am um, bisexual. Y'all know what that means. It means I'm going to the meat market and I got no dietary restrictions. That's very gross. I'm really sorry about that. That's <laughs> not what I meant. But like, I lost my virginity in a three-way, you know? And I don't remember which one took it, but <laughs> I do know that that couple is not married anymore, so. <laughs> That means I took their divorce virginity. <laughs> and I've just been the three-way girl since then. Fucking last year, I got invited to be in three different threesomes in the same night. I was like, that's way too many. Like, how many fucking Ubers and brunches am I about to have to pay for to pull this off? Like, shit, can't somebody just take me on a regular ass date? It sounds cheaper. <laughs> And they're like, nah, Piper, you kind of work best as a cameo appearance and other people's sex adventures. It's like I'm showing up for late night with Chad and Sarah, and Sarah's not really bisexual, and she's pissed the whole time. <laughs> she didn't want to learn how to eat pussy that night. I'm like, that's fair, girl. <laughs> I don't want to be the three-way girl, because to be honest, I have the sexual autism, so... I've never looked a dick directly in the eye. <laughs> that sucks. Don't get the sexual autism, man. I got it from the HPV vaccine. That's where you get it from. I'm also bipolar. I don't like it. I don't like that word, though, because of the stigma. I prefer the other term for bipolar. Manic depressive. The classy man's bipolar. <laughs> Cause like if I tell people I'm bipolar, and I kind of sound like I'm gonna shoot up a high school. But if I say I'm manic depressive, I sound like I teach at that high school. It's like if I say I'm bipolar, it's like, ah, I've herpes, gross. But if I say I'm manic depressive, that sounds like I said, I get cold sores sometimes. What a classy turnaround. But I could also say it like, I got the manic D! And that just sounds like I'm fucking a tweaker. So. All right. I'm into astrology, but like I'm an adult, so I'm not stupid about it. I got a friend, 
he's 28 years old and he's fucking psycho about astrology. He's like, yeah, Piper, I'm a fucking Aries, dude. Aries. Aries is the number one sign in the zodiac. Aries is a fire sign. Fire is the most badass of all the elements. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Did you know that you're a grown ass man and not a Pokemon? <laughs> Like, maybe he was a Pokemon, because this dude ended up burning his house down. <laughs> True story. This motherfucker burned his house down trying to defrost a frozen Capri Sun in the microwave. <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, yeah, you know, this kind of shit wouldn't have happened if I was around, because my zodiac sign is basic human intelligence. <laughs> All right. I love age and appropriate relationships. I think those are hot. Yeah. And I'm not saying that when an old ass dude goes out with a way younger lady that it's not creepy. But I think it should be cool when I do it. <laughs> and that's, that's just because I'm an old person trapped in the body of a young person. Ooh. It's called scoliosis. <laughs> But I do, I love aging appropriate relationships. I just hate seeing all these teachers losing their jobs. Like, fuck, who's gonna educate the youth, man? But I like this guy, he was uh, 15 years older than me. Not into it. He was like, hell no, 15 years. I was like, you're not gonna get my references. I was like, references? What the fuck do I need to know, man? Members of Poison other than Brett Michaels? The time Tom Hanks had a drinking problem on Family Ties? I played Trivial Pursuit, man. I know shit. His old ass, though, he doesn't even know why it's a faux pas to like your own statuses on Facebook. Oh, this is why old people and young people should date. We teach each other. It's like I could teach you how to properly use Facebook, and you could teach me why Caddyshack is supposed to be funny. All right, thank you guys so much. I'm